All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do some plotting with ggplot2. It's one of the most popular, I think it actually is the most popular plotting library in R. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to tools and install packages. And so this brings up this little install package window and we want to type in here ggplot. GG stands for Grammar of Graphics, which is this philosophy about building plots in a grammatically correct way. So this package was, was built to implement those philosophies. And we're going to use it to do most of our plotting. But there's actually some other packages as well that have expanded on ggplot that are, are even actually more interesting, in my opinion. And we, we'll do those a little later. But the... Basically, they cover things like interactive plots, which are very cool. And they can even do things like animation and so, so forth. So this is, this is where we're going to start, though. So ggplot2 is, is our foundation here. So just hit install. And also, this install dependencies is really important because ggplot2 is created, and it uses other libraries as well. It uses functions from those libraries, so uh, th those packages. And... Um, we need to have those installed as well. So just hit install and it and it will uh, it will run this. I actually already have it installed, so I'm gonna hit cancel. But you should be able to just flow through. It's gonna have a this console will, will be filled with downloads and then it'll be ready. And once it's finished, the first thing we need to do is if we want to use a library in R, we have to actually load it in our script. So the way we do that is we type library. So this library function allows us to load the various packages and libraries that we're using. So before I even type in ggplot2 there, let me just load up this library. And we can actually see. Okay, Don't forget, anytime there's a function that you can use and you don't know exactly how to use it or you want more information, you can come down to the console and run this line with a question mark and then the function name and it'll load it up so library is part of the base package and what it does loading and attaching and listing of packages so the way that we use it really is we're gonna use it just for mostly loading okay and the way that we do that again we can scroll all the way to the bottom here to get more info there's almost always good examples and this example basically says uh, they want to use this package named splines, okay? And so they they are going to be loading it that way. Uh, for us, though, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply type ggplot2, okay? And this is going to load the library for us. So to run this line of, of code, we can hit control enter again, right? It's going to send us to the next line, and it's going to run after having run that line. So now we have ggplot loaded, and we can actually start to use it. And... One of the most basic ways to use it is probably to create a bar plot. I know we had this data set in the prior video, but it was kind of a wimpy data set. And I, I thought it would be better to use one of the, the examples that ggplot provides for, for plotting. And so one thing we can do is we, there's, there's actually a lot of data sets we can use that, are, that we already have right here within our studio. Uh, we can get the names of those, of those data sets um, but for now, I'm just going to load them. So you can just trust me here. This one's called MPG, okay? And it already has a name. So it already exists no matter what. We can actually even run this, and it'll load that, it'll load that data table. But we can also just type it in this way, and we'll ha see it up here in our data. So you see we created this table. We can click into it and it's going to load up this table so we can take a look at what it looks like so it looks like it's some car data set right probably miles per gallon or something like that it's got the manufacturer name which you'll notice repeats a couple times so this is good for like grouping and stuff like that it's got the model and then it's got some stats and so this is this is going to be a nice data set to play around with especially for plotting because we might want to plot by group we might want to do some summaries we might even use this for other packages that have nothing to do with plotting, right? Because this is kind of a neat data set that has a lot of good features to it. But what we're going to do is we're just going to plot this data. 
And so the way we're going to do that is we are going to create a new object, which we can name anything we want. The example calls it G, but I think I'm going to call it plot. Okay, so we're going to create this plot and we're going to use the ggplot function to do this. So if we don't know how to use the ggplot function, we can come down here to the console, type question mark ggplot, and see what we get. Okay, create a new ggplot. ggplot initializes a ggplot object. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we check it out, see if they have some good examples here. And okay, so mostly maybe these examples aren't fantastic for our purposes, but fortunately we know how to use it. Okay, actually this is a pretty good case right here. So what does it tell us? It tells us to use ggplot, we need to define our data frame. And this is a data frame, this MPG object we created. Data frame you can think of like a table, really, right? So ours is called MPG, all right? That's the table we're going to use. And then the aesthetic we're going to use. So we need to define what our X and Y is, right? So let's take a look at this table and see what we can use, okay? So if we want to kind of group things together, right, we can say the aesthetic could be class. So for that, we'll type aesthetic class. All right, now we have a plot. We can get some information about the plot. Okay, it's kind of doing uh, some interesting stuff here. Uh, but this is this is uh, this is overwhelming, right? So let's ignore that. We don't need to deal with that right now. But since we've created this plot, does this actually do anything? Let's see. Okay, so it it uh, it launched this graphic, right? But there's nothing in here. But it's set up. You can see that it has some setup. So what does it have? It has the class, which we assigned as our X aesthetic. And then it's got these groups here, uh, which we, how did we get those groups, right? Let's go back to our table here and take a look. We can look at these simultaneously, right? So we have our table up here. We have a graphic down here. We got our objects up here. So this is starting to feel like a real session. Okay, so two seater. We can use this search in this data table to find two seater and see exactly what's going on here. Okay. So this is our class two seater and then we have all this information about the two seaters. So it looks like all the two seaters are you know they're pretty similar. Okay. So if we want to plot from here we can add a layer onto this plot. So the layer we're going to add is a bar plot. And so we're going to say, oops, sorry. We're going to say plot plus geom bar. Okay, and this is a function too. And when we run this, it's going to update this, right? Boom. So what does this tell us? The count. Okay, so the default for the size of the bar plot is count. So how many two-seaters did we have? Okay, how many did we have? We had five. So does that look like five? Yeah, it looks exactly like five. If we went to, let's see, uh, mid-size, we should see about 40 entries, right? So if we hit search here and type mid-size, it should be about 40 entries, 41 entries. Okay, perfect. So we got our count here. And now we've successfully created our first bar plot in R.